Hey, my name's Dan, you're watching Dawn. I just want to share with you a bit of a reflection before we go into uh, a song for you to just think about some stuff and uh, take some time out of your day. So, have you ever felt like you are in the wrong place? You feel like maybe it's a job or maybe it's a relationship or maybe it's just something that just doesn't, uh, you're just feeling a little bit like something's not right. Well, I want to read a passage and then we're going to look into a little bit of the context. I want to share three things that are really helpful when you're in that place where things just maybe aren't going your way. And if you're like, well, actually, I'm not in that place right now. Well, you'll come times in your life where you feel like ah, I'm just not really in the right spot or things just don't feel like they're clicking. You might be in the right place, but things aren't clicking. I don't know. You will come to those times. So I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 through to 14. So this is God speaking through the prophet Jeremiah to the Israelites saying this, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with your whole heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. This is a really interesting passage, and I think there's some stuff we can learn here this morning. Okay, so we have a group of people called the Jews, or the Israelites, and they lived in a place called Jerusalem. That was their home, it was their holy land, it was the place that like, they believed God had for them. And what happens is they end up going into exile. In other words, they're sent out of Jerusalem, they're scattered around the place, and a lot of them end up in a place called Babylon. Babylon being a place that is, they believe very different things, very brutal culture, very brutal nature of people. And especially the Jews, they were almost seen as like second class citizens, almost seen as slaves. And um, so I want you to imagine the, the mindset there of the Jews. They were in their place that there was home and they get sent out. And then there's these false prophets or these people trying to be encouraging, but actually saying that they're speaking on God's part or God's behalf and they're actually not. And they say, hey, you won't be in exile that long. But then God speaks through the prophet Jeremiah and says, actually guys, you're gonna be here for 70 years. So hold up, I want you to imagine a group of people are in a bad spot, a place that just does not feel like, they just feel like God's abandoned them. And then God says to them, hey, you're gonna be here for a lot longer than you thought, but I will bring you out of it. So often this verse is used as this really encouraging verse. God says, I know the plans that I have for you is to make me have the best life possible and for me to have the fullest bank account or whatever it might be. But the context of this passage is actually, hey, life's gonna be really difficult for a bit. But take heart, God has plans for your life. He has a hope and a future for your life. That's what he's saying in this passage. So there's some stuff that we can draw out of this that I want us to look at. And the first thing is this, that no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you exist in the thoughts of God. God is thinking about your life. The Hebrew word translates as when it says, I know the, the plans that I have. That word plan translates as, I, I know the thoughts, I know the intent, I know the purposes I have for your life. And I know the Bible wasn't written to us, but it was written for us. And I want you to know this morning, if you feel like you're in a place like that, that just isn't clicking, that just feels heavy, I want you to know that God thinks about you, He knows you, and He has a plan and a purpose for your life. Number two, that even when you feel distant from God, even when you feel like there's a gap between you and God, even when you feel like you're in a place that just doesn't feel like home, it just doesn't feel like it's clicking, you're out of your comfort zone or whatever, even when you are in that place, God has a hope and a future for your life. No matter who you are, if you're still breathing, God has placed a future within you. Part of that future, part of that hope, is actually that you will be able to know God. Part of that hope is that you will be able to spend eternity with God. So no matter who you are right now, no matter what your story looks like, no matter what your life looks like, there is hope for your life. There is a purpose within you, a future within you. And God, in relationship with Him, wants to shape you into the person that He has made you to be. So often we let these difficult circumstances, we let these painful times or times that just feel heavy, we let them kind of like steal our future or steal our hope. I think one of the biggest things that we lose when we get into a hard time is our ability to see the future, our ability to hope for a better future. 
I think when times get tough in our life, we often start looking at how bad things are around us. Well, I want to be the person this morning through this scripture to encourage you. Look, God is still at work. He still has a hope for your life. There is still future within you. Do not give up. God wants to do something in you. And finally, number three, no matter where you are, no matter what your story is, no matter how hard the position you are in right now, whether you are in the right place or the wrong place, listen to this, God can still be found. It says in this passage that even though the Jews were in a place that seemed like not right, that God had abandoned them, that they were in a place that was far from God or there was this big gap between them and God in their minds, God still said to them, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. In other words, if you seek me, no matter where you are, you will find me. He was reminding them because a lot of the Jews at the time would have felt like, oh, we're not in our holy land. Like God exists here. Or we're in this foreign place that like they don't even believe in the same God. God is saying, look, it doesn't matter where you are. If you seek me with your whole heart, you will find me. And I want to encourage whoever's listening to Dawn this morning. No matter where you are, whether it seems like the right place or it feels like the wrong place, God can still be found and he wants you to search for him. He wants you to seek after him. And his promise is what? You will find me. So today, I don't know what your story is like. I don't know whether this has been an encouragement to you to keep going, to go and be the person that God has made you to be, or whether you're just feeling the weight of the wrong position in your life. You're just feeling like you're not where you're supposed to be. I want to encourage you, keep going. God is with you. There is a purpose within you. There is a future before you. And God wants to work in your life. If you will seek him and find him, what does he say? for I know the plans that I have for you. They are plans to prosper you. They are plans to give you a hope and a future. And those words are just as true to you today as they were to the Jews at the time that God spoke through the prophet Jeremiah. As we go into this next song of reflection, I just want to encourage you to reflect and meditate on that. God, maybe I just don't feel like there's anything before me. Reflect on the promise that God says, I have a hope and a future for you. Or maybe you're just feeling a little distant from God. I want you to reflect today on God, thank you that I am in your mind, that you think of me, that you have a plan for my life. Or maybe you just feel like you're in a difficult spot and you're just reaching out and you're wondering if God is gonna be there. I want you to reflect today on how close God is in this moment, how present he is in this moment. No matter where you are, he is present with you. Hope you have the best day.
Jesus